hey y'all it's me jazz back again with another video but today is different i have a client and she has 4c hair texture and this is her first visit um as you can see we i'm consulting with her and she's letting me in on her hair and some of the issues she was having so before her service i detangled with the hair mist which is great for detangling I like to spray it on dry hair, especially if you just took out braids. Like I said in a previous video, if you took out a sewing, you can just use this detangler and it helps to get through your hair. Like it's, it makes your natural hair so much more manageable. So right now I'm doing it. I'm taking, you know, some sections at a time and then go all around her head. So for my clients today, she's getting the 12 Full Experience. And with the 12 Full Experience, you get a shampoo, conditioner, hair mist to take home with you so that we can be in partnership together with maintaining healthy hair. You know, what I use at the salon, you can use at home. So then when you come to your next visit, it'll be a smooth process. So after I do this, after I detangle her hair, I'll proceed on to exfoliating her scalp and bringing up all of that product buildup. And the crazy thing about it is that when you're when you're looking at your scalp surface level, it just it may look like it's fine and you might not need a treatment. But once you go in with the exfoliator, it really brings up all of the old product buildup, and it's just crazy. Like this is why I love the scalp treatment. And as I get closer to the top of her head, it's like even more built up. So, yeah, I'm just doing this process before applying the mud mask. And as y'all know, I'm the mud mask is my thing. Like, I need that to be done on every client because I want to remove all of the old product build up. It might not be 100%, but it's going to be a bulk of the product built up, depending on how much is on your hair but yeah so right now you know we're going through the exfoliating process me and her talking and she telling me a little bit more about herself and things like that now i'm at the bowl with her and i'm drenching her hair as y'all can see she has high porosity hair and that hair is like soaking up the water but then it it dries right back out so that's the funny thing about high porosity hair but I'm not going to let that discourage me. I'm still going to drench. I'm just I'm just going to make sure that that water is really penetrating her hair so that the product can just lay on her hair really, really well. And this is when the magic happens. So I'm applying the mud. You know, I take my sections, apply it from the root all the way down to the ends. And you can put it on a scalp too. So I'm doing that process all over, you know, being real thorough about it. And then once I'm done, right, I'm going to go in with my Twa Twa shampoo. You know, after I let the mud mesh dry, you let it sit and soak up on your hair. And then we go in with our 1212 clarifying shampoo. And then we go in with our 1212 conditioner to help with uh, retaining moisture on natural hair. And yeah, so I'm going to let y'all watch that process and I'll be right back.
So we pretty much done with that process. And I'm letting her sit with the steam and a hot towel. You know, just heighten her hair care experience because that's what it's all about. And she's finally done. And we're at the chair. And I'm about to use my hair mist after towel drying because that's what you do. You don't need to use the hair mist on dry hair after blow drying. I know some people have asked, like, do, do you use the hair mist again after blow drying? And you do not need to use it again. So once I use it that one time, we're good. I go in with my blow dryer and I'm just blow drying away and getting that hair pre-straightened well it's not pre-straightened but you know stretching the curl pattern as much as possible so that when i go in with my hot comb and my flat irons that thing will be real smooth like so yeah and I just want to say I love 4C hair texture. I, the thing I love most about 4C is that it's so flexible and it has so much volume and resilience to it. It's so strong, you know, when it's taken care of. So that's the great thing about 4C hair. And some people, they don't like dealing with this texture, but I love it. So I'm going in with trimming her hair and I try not to take too much off because, you know, this is her first visit and i just i just try to um what am i trying to say <laughs> i try to retain as much left as possible while maintaining healthy hair for the client you know i want them to be comfortable with their decisions of decision of getting their hair trimmed and visiting me at the same time because you know people won't say nothing but they will cry in the car and i just don't want that but I think I did pretty well and she's pretty much done. These are her curls. I did them really tight because like as y'all know, I like my clients to have some fullness the next day. You know, after I combed them out, it was like kind of wavy and she really loved her hair. She wound up booking two more appointments. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. And I'm about to get ready for my next client. I'll be posting the next one.